Hey, what is up, everybody? Welcome back, guys, to my channel. Today, guys, I... I want to make a box office video because there's a lot of movies in the theater that is in the box office right now. And I want to do my... I wanted to... I want to find out how much dollars did these films did. Uh, if it's on Amazon or is it on... Whatever, whatever steps you have. But today, guys... We are going to be checking it out, so, yeah. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that like button down below. That way, will you mean a lot to me so much. So, please, guys, hit that like button down below. So, yeah. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. We are getting so close to... We are getting so close to 1,000 subscribers. So, please, guys, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. That way, will you mean a lot to me. So, please, guys, do that, guys. So, yeah, we're getting so close. We are right now, OD. We are right now 41 subscribers short. We only got like 41 subscribers to go. So, please, guys, if this is your first time here, make sure you guys go down below. Hit that subscribe button down below. Help me get this channel to 1,000 subscribers. Please, guys. That would really mean a lot to me. So yeah. Also, guys, hit that notification bell because I'm gonna be doing uh, these videos every week. So there'll be a box office video every Tuesday. So if you really want to, guys, hit that subscribe button. Down. Hit that notification bell. The notification bell. So yeah. So guys, if you don't know, guys, there's a lot of movies. So without further ado, let's get right into the box office video. So yeah. So if you don't know, guys, there's a lot of movies right now playing in theaters right now. There's still a lot of movies that still play the in theaters right now. There's still a lot of movies right now. When I see it right now on the website right now, I see a lot of movies that are right now still played. So yeah. So let's start up with the very first one. Uh, hmm. Let's start up with uh, scene two. How much did scene two did at the box office? Okay. Let's start up with scene two and I will be... Wait. We just said that a little bit. I'm gonna fix that, okay? Just give me a sec, guys. I've mean, got a kid do space. Let me delete those. There we go. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Uh. Where was the Wikipedia? Yeah. Wikipedia. Guys, if you're back. Okay, guys, I'm back. And right now, guys, scene two, right now at the box office, right now for this weekend, right here, it hit 2,200, 17 million, $882,855 at the box office. Last time Jake was 200 So right now, scene 2 right now is doing pretty good at the box office right now. Like, it's doing pretty good. It defeated the emotion movie. It defeated the emotion movie. And it did it in Kingdom of Heaven. It's not, it def it's not yet defeated the Disney, the DreamWorks movie. So yeah, so scene 2 right now, I think it's right now at its... Fourth week, I think this is its fourth weekend. I think last year, I think last week was its its fourth weekend. Now the main reason why I do the box this box office video today, guys, is because of one thing, guys. The big thing I want to talk about is Tuesdays are mostly when the box office takes place, like official numbers. And scene two right now at seven. Two hundred seventeen million dollars, almost cause two, almost cause two hundred eighteen million dollars right now at the box office. This movie is doing pretty good at the box office right now. This is, I think, this is the only animation movie is right now. Like I think, I think scene two is only the movie right now that is do pretty good at the box office right now. So yeah, I'm gonna tell you guys how much the Spider Man Norman Home did in a few minutes. So yeah, so now let's get right into the next one. I'm gonna see if I know what the next one I want to choose. Okay, let me see if I know what the next one I want to choose. Uh, let's choose Matrix Four. Let's check Matrix Four. 
Let me show you guys scene two again, okay? Now I'm officially perfect. So yeah. So Owen Lisa, so you can see at the the modest uh, the modest box office is right now. So it's mostly it has been doing at the so mostly at the box office right now in the United States of America, it did hit above closely one mil one hundred twenty two million dollars. Getting close to that whole entire number, so yeah. And I said before that number, so yeah. I just want to remind you guys about that, so yeah. And now let's talk about Matrix 4. Now, right now, guys, we are going to be talking about Matrix Retuition. Or I could say the fourth movie. Why not that movie worldwide only hit 140? Like, almost close one, so around over 140 million dollars at the box office right now and it's opening it's it it's open it was uh 10 million dollars so and it's right now it's right now out it's been out for like 27 days so this video how this movie only has been out for three weeks and yeah matrix 4 is not doing pretty good it's doing solid but sin 2 did a lot more so yeah, just say, it's not a movie, like, whatever, so yeah. Also, it's a really old movie, so I'm not going to be able to watch this film yet, but yeah. But I have heard a lot of people say that this movie is good. I have heard a lot of people say that this movie is good, but yeah. But $140 million, that's not bad by its by, by three weeks. And yeah, and let's get right into the next one. The next one I want to talk about is, let's talk about... Enkento. Because Enkento is still in Theodos. Let's talk about Enkento, sorry. So right now guys, uh, right now, so Box Office Mojo is really good at Box Office. So Enkento right now is over 22 million, over 20, over 222 million dollars. It is still above the, uh, from the second scene in it's been out for, I don't know how many weeks it has been out, but it's been out for like mostly a few weeks. And this week and next week will be, be I don't know because I do know that the DVD release date is going to be, but I don't know guys, after the modest is 41.8% and it's right now that number. I forgot to tell you guys about that for uh, Matrix 4, but yeah, but. And Kento is doing pretty good at the box office right now. At twenty two billion dollars, do pretty good, but it's not way really, like it's not way really, like the best. But yeah, I would say by its final run time, it might hit two hundred fifty million dollars. Probably, I mean, it's probably gonna just hit two hundred and twenty twenty five. I don't really know, but of course, of course, the box office right now for Kento. I know it's a Akato, Akato, whatever how you pronounce it. It's right now twenty two million. So that's what it is right now in Well yeah. Stop it. Well, I'm so sorry about the guys. I'm but, sorry. But I don't know Everybody guys. I'm just going to Caleb's channel. Don't do that. Just kidding. Everybody hit the like button, make it talk boo as as the color of the sky. Oh you can do that guys. But yeah, please, guys. So yeah, well, I know the box office wise, it's doing pretty good for Kento. So yeah, what's the next film I want to talk about? Uh, let's do uh, Ghostbuster Afterlife. Let's do Ghostbuster Afterlife because I do know that movie is still in theaters. So Ghostbusters Afterlight. I right now what right. so the next movie on this list is Ghostbuster Afterlight. But right now is almost cost two hundred million dollars at the box office right now. It's getting so close to two hundred million dollars. So I would say before it gets on DVD, I'm gonna say it's gonna hit two hundred million dollars. Now it defeated the, I think it defeated the I think it did the defeat it. Uh, I don't remember, but I think it did defeat it. Uh, Matrix Four, uh, or was it Matrix Five? Uh, Matrix Four. But yeah, but of course, worldwide for Ghostbusters Afterlife, 
994 billion, like over 994 billion dollars right now at the box office. Because we are still in the pandemic. And that like there's been pretty good in the field though. So yeah, I'm gonna say it's probably gonna hit 200 million by its final run time. But yeah. And it's still pretty good. It's still pretty good at the the modest, the modest box office. So, yeah. What's gonna be the next one? Uh. I know there's a movie in theaters right now that is still doing pretty good. Uh. uh let's do. Uh, West Side Story. Let's do West Time. West Time. Uh, wait, West Time? No, West Side Story. How much is it at the box office right now? Let's talk about it. So, guys, we are right now at West Side Story. And, yeah. It's not doing pretty good at the box office right now. I know it came out, like, a few weeks ago. And it's right now... 57, like it's over right now, closely 58 million dollars. And uh, yeah, people's not really watching this movie. Why? I have no idea. It's just, yeah, it's just weird how this movie is not doing pretty good at the box office right now. Now, let me say this movie is a really good movie, but it's just weird. Though. So, yeah. So I'm not going to talk about it too much. I'm not going to say too much. But, uh, yeah. And right here, at the bottom right here, it's going to show you guys where is all the areas, how much money did it did, how much money did it made in each area. And, yeah. But which time story is not doing pretty good. Though. It's probably going to only hit 100 million. Though. It's probably only going to. So, yeah. That's the big problem related to West Time. West, West Side Story. What's the next one? Uh, let's do Liquid. Let's do Liquid. Liquid Pizza. Shall we? Okay. Liquid Pizza is doing terrible. Yeah, it's doing a little bit terrible. It's still doing terrible. If you don't know, guys, only fourteen million dollars in the field, though. What? This movie is... Like... I know... So, Liquid Pizza is doing a... It's not doing bad at the box office right now, but... I'm just scared uh, that this film... Like, of course, I don't care about these kind of films, uh, But yeah, but of course, Liquid Pizza... It's probably going to not do pretty good uh, at the box office. It's gonna be the lowest movie of... I'm not gonna say it's the lowest movie of 2021, but it's gonna be the lowest movie of 2021. So, yeah. So, yeah. Liquid Pizza, no. That's not a film that is gonna actually do very really good. So, yeah. Uh, let's do Phantom Let the Be Carnage, because I do know Phantom Let the Be Carnage just got back into field dose. So, let's do that one next. Okay. Phantom Let the Be Carnage. Now, it was a DVD, it just got a DVD in December. But when Spider-Man No Way Home has been out, and it's doing very good at the box office, then we will release it. And, Phantom of the Carnage is doing pretty good on its next field, though, uh, progress. Over $500 million. That's pretty good. I I'm going to say that's, too that's pretty good. In the the modest the, the modest box office, over two hundred, over two hundred twelve million dollars. I would say five hundred million dollars is not that bad. That's like half to a billion. That's pretty good. I like film that the carnage. This is the movie that I seen last year. This is one of the films I had not seen too many films last year. This one was one of them I saw last year and. Phantom of the Dippy College is a very good movie. Guys, you guys have to check it out. If you haven't seen it, check it out, guys. It's a very good movie, so yeah. 
So I feel like the DP College is doing pretty good. So yeah. What's the next one I want to talk about? Uh Let's do the kids better. Let's do the kids better. Okay. So right now we are here with the kids man, the recent film that came out from 20th Century and Fox Studios. That's not gonna be on Disney Plus, so yeah. It's probably gonna be on Hulu, but yeah. But that film is doing pretty solid at the box office right now, ninety-three million dollars. Also this film just came out three days before Christmas, so yeah. It's the kids man is doing pretty good at the box office. But it's not doing poorly. Sometimes when the box office, sometime, but again, it's okay. Like the kids is doing fine at the box office right now, but it's probably gonna do more in between weeks because I think this week is its. I think last week has been its fourth weekend. I think it has been the fourth weekend. So, yeah. So. Yeah, that's what's going on right now with the kids, man. That's what's going on right now in the box office. It's just what it is, and it's just what it is. So, yeah. Let's talk about the next film in the box office we're going to talk about. I'm going to keep Spider-Man No Way Home for last, because that one is going to be crazy. So, yeah. Let's start up with some... So, I got some films I want to talk about that's still in theaters. Let's see here. What's still in... Let's do the House of Gucci. So, House of Gucci. I don't feel like release the day before fix game and in. It's doing pretty good at the worldwide box office right now, over a hundred twenty-four million dollars. Now, that's pretty good. Now, it just came out. Two months ago. So it's probably going to be on DVD on February 1st. So it's still pretty good. The uh, worldwide box office in the Demodest box office, 51 million and whatever. It's still pretty good at the worldwide box office right now. And the House of Gucci, it is what it is, but yeah. I don't want to talk about these films too much because I'm just going to tell you guys what the box office was, but yeah. It's doing pretty good at the box office right now. I'm just going to say it's doing pretty good right now. It is doing pretty good. But, yeah. What's the next one I want to do? I want to get all of the 2021 ones out of the way. Let's do the Chondo for Chondo. Okay. The Chondo for Chondo only did $6 million. You serious, right? Are you serious? This is the film from 2021. Is that doing pretty good? But also, it released on Christmas Day, so it's fine. It's still out right now in theaters. I feel like it could do more. I really hoping that this. So, my prediction is for this. How much I think it's going to hit? It's probably going to hit like around 50 million. I'm just going to say probably $50 million, but yeah. But the Journal for Jordan is doing pretty good at the box office right now. So, yeah. I'm right now working around for movies that's still in theaters right now. Uh, let's do... Let's do the Clipper in the... Clipper the Big Red Dog movie, because I know... Is that a, is that only a DVD? Is that only a DVD? Yep, I'm not doing a clip of the big build down because if it's only just sorry guys. Uh let's do uh, It's no way to is no time to die still if you does? Nope, it's not. I'll be all back and go to pick one that's pretty good though. Let's start up with doing the 2022 movies because 
Now, oh, there's one more. American Underdog. So we have American Underdog, another movie that hit. So it's an FNL, NFL movie made by Lion Gate. And that film only did $21 million. And it also was released on Christmas Day. So this film is doing pretty good. I don't know what's going to happen. But it's doing pretty good right now at the box office right now. It, same thing with the Journal of Children. Unless that's how you call it, but yeah. But of course, worldwide box office right now for American Underdog, the NFL game. This is pretty good, so... Yeah. It's doing pretty good at the box office right now, so... Yeah. And I think that's it for 2021, right? I'm gonna keep uh, I'm gonna keep a uh, scream and Spider-Man No Way Home for last because, and yeah, let's do uh, Bell. Uh, I'm not gonna choose Bell. Instead, I'm gonna choose uh, the three hundred fifty-five. So the three thirty-five, the the three. The 355 is right now 100 million dollars. So, over 100, over 11 million dollars. And it just came out two weeks ago. So, yeah. So, uh, this is very really interesting because I don't know too much about this movie. But I know a lot of people say that this movie. Well, it's also made by Universal, so Universal is doing pretty good, but it's not really doing pretty good enough, but yeah. Worldwide box office, it's doing fine at the box office right now. It's doing pretty good right now. It's not doing the best, but it's doing pretty good, so... Yeah, the 355, do pretty good at the box office. My prediction is it might hit 50 million or 100 million in the next few weeks. Because I think this is going to be on DVD till April. I think this is going to be on DVD in April. So, yeah. That was the next one that... Oh, oh. I forgot. <laughs> I forgot to turn it on. So, 11 million. That's what the, the 355 is right now. Released on January 5th. And, yeah. Made by Universal Pictures. Yeah. And it's right now over 800... Almost because 9... Billion dollars at the modest box office. So, yeah. And, uh, yeah, that's mostly that's going on right now. Let's talk about. I'm right now still working about what movies are still in Fiodos right now. Nobody's not in Fiodos. Right now, so, yeah. So, let's do Scream and see if I know what Scream 5 is about. Okay. Scream 5 right now. It's right now, by its first weekend, this just came out five days ago. And of course, it's still pretty good at the box office. Only $34 million by its first weekend. Like, over this much. Like, this is what it works. So, the Demodest box office right now is, the Demodest box office is right now $34 million. And the... This one right here is 30, yeah. And Scream 5 is doing pretty good at the box office right now. It's doing pretty good. I'm going to say it's going to probably hit, probably hit a lot of money. Because it was number one, be, number two was No Way Home. And we're going to talk about No Way Home in just a sec. Scream 5 is doing up pretty good. And of course... I'm just saying it's doing pretty good. So, yeah, I'm very excited to see how low, how well this movie is going to work. So, yeah, I'll be coming back here next week to talk about more about Screen 5, talk about how much it is, but yeah. But right now, guys, let's get right into Spider-Man No Way Home. Okay, guys, we are right now about to hit to Spider-Man No Way Home right now. Out the box office right now in... Trouble, please. Spider-Man No Way Home did hit 1,000, 1,629,000,000 1, 
million dollars. It was it's still the number eight spot. I did find it would defeat now I'm gonna do this the best way, okay? I'm gonna do this the best way, okay? Like if you don't know. Spider-Man Knowing Home is doing pretty good in the box office right now. Over uh, one billion one billion six hundred twenty-nine billion dollars. Oh you can say one put six billion dollars right now. And right now it's right under where the like is. So I think this week for Spider-Man No Way Home. But this week with Spider-Man No Way Home, it's probably going to defeat. I'm just saying, it's probably going to defeat the Lion King. So, if you don't know, if you don't know guys, so right now, with No Way Home, it's right, like, it's like way under the, the live action. So, here's the question that I have with No Way Home. Here's the question that I have. I'm gonna say Spider-Man No Way Home will defeat the Lion King and Jurassic World this weekend. I'm gonna say it. I'm not 100 percent gonna say it, but that's what I feel like is gonna happen. I feel like this week in the the sixth weekend uh, if it does very good at the box office this weekend and it did hit another extra 100 million dollars by next weekend it's going to defeat Ju the Lion King in Jurassic World now do I think Spider-Man No Way Homer could defeat Avengers Infinity War I'm right now just saying I have no idea what's going to be happening now if so if you don't know guys we don't have an official release date for China China doesn't have a release date yet and China has no way home in February because we don't know guys let's quick a check in the crowd let's right, right now look at the date okay so it's right now January 18th right now right so it's right now how many weeks has it been? Uh, oh, what we? One. So, how many weekends? One. One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait, right? One, two, wait. One, two, three, four, five, six. So, it just finished up its fifth weekend. So, it's about to get to his sixth weekend. So, I will do another video on January 25th, okay? I will do another video on the 25th. And I'm gonna say it's gonna to defeat, so I'm gonna say this, okay? With No Way Homer, here's what I'm gonna say it's gonna be, okay? I'm gonna say No Way Homer, I'm just gonna say it, but No Way Homer is probably going to defeat the Lion King in Jurassic World with a hundred seven, like one put. I'm gonna say probably 1.75 billion dollars. 1 billion 700 million dollars. So seven one put seven billion. And yeah, and I'm so I'm gonna say this, okay? I'm gonna say by the 23rd, I'm gonna say Norway Homer is going to do so on Friday, I'm gonna say it's gonna be thirty dollars, thirty billion on the Friday. 30 million on 30 million on Sunday. 30 million on Sunday. So what does this mean? So if it's 30 million, so if you think about it, 30 dollars. Let me think about 90 dollars. So not right now. So if you think about it, if it's 90 dollars, then you see. So let's use the calculator, okay? Let's use the calculator. Show you, yeah. Just give me a sec, guys.
Do you really, really like the video? Just give me a sec, guys. Okay. Let's pop out the cackle wheel, so yeah. So, so this out, okay? We have, of course, one put six twenty nine dot two. Just say this, okay? Okay, we have that number, okay? That number right there. Plus ninety. Million. That's gonna be so. So what I'm trying to say is, okay, no way, Homer. At that time, in the, for nine hundred million dollars, if no way, Homer does really good at its sixth, at its sixth weekend, then it's gonna hit. Cow go around. One puts one billion seven hundred nineteen billion dollars. So it's gonna be like it's gonna be like a, above a hundred. It's gonna be above seven hundred million. But that's what I think it'll be like. It's gonna be due at the sixth week. Either. The seventh week is probably gonna be like around a billion eight hundred dollars. Around over a billion eight hundred. Around that time. So. My question is, if you guys watch No Way Home this weekend, guys, watch No Way Home this week. Watch it again and again and again and again. Because I feel like the final box office, No Way Home, will defeat Titanic. If this does happen. Because No Way Home, because I don't know, guys, at the tomorrow's box office... Spider-Man No Way Home defeated Black Pepo at the Demonish Box Office. And right now, Spider-Man No Way Home is doing so good at the box office right now. At the Demonish Box Office right now, by today. Now, by today, it happened two minutes ago. Whoa. Or was it 1 a.m.? But yeah. So right now they're number four spot. So I'm gonna say No Way Home is gonna be the number three spot. So I feel like I just feel like like I feel like Spider-Man No Way Home could defeat Avatar. I feel like it. If China gets a release date this year, if it does get a release date. I really hope it's Spider-Man No Way Home B's the number three movie of our time. At the Demonish Box Office, it is the number two Marvel movie at the box office. But at the box office right now, it's the number three film. So yeah, so what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say is... So what I'm trying to say is... Spider-Man No Way Home... What I'm trying to say is 100%. 100%. Spider-Man No Way Home will defeat the Lion King in Jurassic World. 100%. 100%. It will defeat it. It will. Because when Spider-Man No Way Home right now won, like... But of course, Spider-Man No Way Home be the number 8 spot, it could be the number 6 this week. If you guys go watch No Way Home, guys, here's what you guys do, okay? I'm just going to talk to you guys for just a few minutes, okay? I'm just going to talk for you guys for just a few minutes, okay? Okay, let me see here. Like this, okay? You need to go watch No Way Home, okay? You guys need to, because people like me and like everybody else really want Spider-Man No Way Home to be a $2 billion movie. And also, right now we are right now at its fifth week in theaters. We are right now, we are right now 
the fifth week in the field though right now for Spider-Man No Way Home. And yesterday has been its one month, one month, month in the first week in theaters. Here's what I want you guys to do, okay? For celebrating the one month in the first week, you guys need to use some money, go watch No Way Home. You guys need to see this movie. This movie is the best movie. If you haven't seen No Way Home, guys, if you haven't seen No Way Home, watch it, guys. If you have the time to this week, watch it. And if there's YouTubers watching this video right now who are big MCU fans and who are big and who is big Spider-Man fans, I know a lot of people is gonna say, I know Scream 5 is gonna be the number one this week as well. But don't go too far. I feel like because I don't know guys. Last week, Spider-Man No Way Home defeated the Avengers. And it's right now at the $1.6 billion mark. Only $40 million to go. Like, like, what I'm trying to say is, only $400 million left. That's what I'm trying to say. Like, that's what I'm trying to say. $400 million left. What did you I'll be up back, guys. So sorry about that, guys, but yeah. But what I was trying to say before, watch No Way Home, okay? If you have the time, but it's okay, if you are a big Spider-Man fan, and you really want to spend, like, like, if you want to spend, like, mostly all of your dollars on Spider-Man No Way Home, okay? Spend all your money on No Way Home, just watch it, because right now, guys, you watching this video right now. If you guys are watching this video right now, okay? If you guys are watching right now, you guys need to know about something that you guys do not know about within the No Way Home, okay? No Way Home is the number eight spot. It's not yet in the top five yet. So, and of course the top five movies are the two billion dollar movies. So guys, you guys need to right now tell me guys, what do you feel like? Do you feel like No Way Home could pit two billion dollars? And guys, unless I want to, if I have the money, I could go see No Way Home again in the theater right now. Like, this instant. I could right now. But I am, I have a lot going on right now, but yeah. Also, also, yeah, also I have heard that, so, so, like this, okay? So, guys, so I do know something, okay? In February, okay? So on February 28th, Spider-Man No Way Home will be on digital. So, Spider-Man No Way Home has a few more weeks in theaters. And I don't know when the DVD release date is going to be. A lot of people say the DVD release date could be like around in March-ish. I really hope it. I really hope it. Because I do think that No Way Home will get a DVD before Moon Knight release on Disney Plus on March 30th. If you want to see my, if you want to see my Moon Knight, my Moon Knight cello reaction, I did it today, I did it at midnight, but yeah. But of course, shh, but yeah. But of course, Spider-Man No Way Home, okay? Guys, okay guys, go down below, okay guys? Shh, can you guys be quiet? Guys, go down below. Here's what you guys need to do, okay? Guys, if you're gonna go see No Way Home this week, hit that like button. You guys need to go watch it. Like, everybody who's watching this video right now. If this is your first time here, hit that subscribe button because there's a lot of videos coming up in the future. I will do a box office video every week. Talk about No Way Home. Yeah, every single day I have a video talking about No Way Home every Tuesday. Because that is mostly the full of uh, box office numbers. Guys, if you think No Way Home will defeat Titanic, hit that like button there. Because Titanic is the number three movie at the box office right now. It's the number three movie right now. If you think it's good, guys, if you think it's going to defeat the Lion King, true. If, it's, I, if you guys think that Spider-Man No Way Home, so sorry about that, guys. My throat, I have a dry throat, so I didn't drink a lot of water. But guys, 
guys, hit that like button if you think that Spider-Man No Way Homer could defeat the live action Lion King. Yeah, the live action Lion King. The live action, like the live action Lion King. Like the live action Lion King. The Jurassic World, Avengers Infinity World, Star Wars The Force Awakens, and Titanic. Hit that like button down below. And hit that like button if you really want a China release date. Guys, hit that like button down below. The more likes you get, the more likes we get, the more... Like, guys, 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 I, I'm just trying to say, guys, hit that like button if you think that Spider-Man No Way Homer will be the number three spot at the box office. Because I don't think it's going to be the number one spot, but it's just if China gets a release date, we don't have a release date yet for China, but why does China have a release date? I know, guys, we are still in the pandemic, and I know, I don't think, I don't think, no, I don't think fewer doors are open. Guys, I don't think fewer doors are open. Like, I don't think fewer doors are open yet, and if you look at the ball, guys, you guys can tell, guys, that Titanic is 2 billion, 200, do you know what that means? It means that Spider-Man No Way Home, only had to hit another, another extra six hundred million dollars, and I feel like the more of you, of you guys, guys, if we could get this week, guys, this week, guys, guys, if you can go see No Way Home this week, tell your friends. If your friends have not seen, if you have seen No Way Home and your friends have not seen No Way Home, ask them. Ask everybody. Ask everybody about No Way Home. Ask everybody. Ask everybody to go watch the movie. This film needs to be the number one spot. It needs to. It just needs to be the film that needs to destroy it. I want No Way Home to be destroyed. No, I want No Way Home to destroy a lot of films. Right now, it's at the number eight spot. It's almost close to defeat The Lion Killer in Jurassic World. But please, guys, I know this video is very long. It's what it's always. I know this video is right now over like 40 minutes right now but you guys need to know that if you guys are going to go see No Way Home this week you guys need to go watch it and of course if you watch it this week you should watch it this weekend as well you should see No Way Home twice this week okay if everybody if all you guys here's what I want you guys to do okay in the field okay I want to see a ton of people in theaters I want to see a ton how do people in the field do to go watch No Way Home, okay? Bring your family, bring your friends, bring, bring your, bring your Marvel fans, bring your friends, bring your church fans, bring everybody who you know up to the field to watch, to go watch No Way Home. You guys need to because No Way Home is crazy. So if you haven't seen No Way Home yet, Go watch it in field doors because the field door, especially go watch it at, guys, especially, especially guys, go watch it in IMAX. IMAX will, of course, give you a lot of experience and of course IMAX is perfect for you guys, okay? Go to your nearest field door, pay for your Spider-Man No Way Home IMAX ticket, ticket, and go to the field door, go watch it. If you love it, do it again. If you love it, go do it again, do it again, do it again, do it again. Because just spend all your money, most, spend mostly all your money to go watch No Way Home. Guys, No Way Home is my number one favorite MCU movie of all time. And of course it's my favorite Spider-Man movie of all time. I wish I went to, if I have the money, I could go watch it again. Guys, it's doing pretty good at the box office right now. And if you guys want this film to defeat Titanic, hit that like button down below. Please, guys. I want this film to be the th number three movie. Okay? Ask your friends. Ask everybody. Maybe ask... Maybe ask a stranger. Ask everybody around town. Watch. Ask everybody. People you don't know of, ask them to watch No Way Home. Okay? Ask them, okay? People... Oh, guys, ask everybody, have them bring, have them, 
help everybody. Maybe go around your town. Go around the city. Go talk to everybody to go watch No Way Home. Again, to go, like, if some people, a lot, like, over, like, right now, over a billion people is watching No Way Home. Like, if you guys, guys, if you guys are waiting, guys, don't wait for it to go on DVD or digital. Go to your newest field, though. If you had to wear your face mask, you could do that. But go watch the movie. This movie is going to be amazing. Guys, I even wore a Spider-Man costume when I went to go see No Way Home. I went to go see No Way Home with a Spider-Man costume. And I went to go see it in IMAX. And I really want to go to, to the field again to go watch it again. Guys, hit that like button. Again, when I say hit that like button if you think Spider-Man No Way Home could defeat Titanic. If you think it could defeat Titanic, hit that like button. Because, guys, with that number, look at that number, guys. Look at this number and look at that number. It's pretty close. It's probably going to hit it. But the problem about that is... The, like, the problem about that is the only way for Norway Homer to hit the number three spot is if everywhere around the world, like, everywhere around the world, Greenland, uh, Greenland, uh, China, China, like, everywhere is open, the United States, South America, Brazil, Brazil, uh, 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 Africa, uh, f the UK, Brits, uh, Germany, like, everywhere, everybody, guys, everywhere around the world, guys, like, of course, everybody do that, but guys, mostly, guys, what you guys need to do, okay, if you live, guys, if you live in all of these, uh, if you work at all of these, uh, release date, if you work at all of these, guys, Iceland is not even a million dollars yet, guys, 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 if you see this, look at all of these right now. Look at all of these places right now. Israel, how is Israel, uh, why is there, like, guys, how is Israel, how is Jacob, the son of Isaac, the son of Abraham, how are, uh, like, like, the church is real a lot. Like, the church is real a lot. But yeah, guys. But guys, please guys, if you live in these countries, guys, if you leave, guys, if you live in these countries, guys, here's what you need to do, okay? Guys, guys, if you're right now in like the UK, watch this movie right now. Watch No Way Home in theaters. Do not wait. Do not wait to go watch No Way Home. Watch No Way Home in theaters right now. So, yeah. That will be it for this video, guys. Guys. Okay, guys, if you're going to go see No Way Home in theaters, hit that like button down below. Because that will really mean a lot to me and my channel so much. So, guys, please, if you're going to go see No Way Home in theaters, hit that like button. So, yeah. So, yeah, that would be it for this video. If you do enjoy this video, make sure you guys go down below. And, of course, hit that like button down below. Guys, if this video does a lot of likes, guys, if you want a China release date, Hit that like button. If you live in China, if you live in China and you know English, if you know English in China and you really want to go watch it in theaters but you can't watch it, if you are from China right now, hit that like button down below. That will really mean a lot to me because that will help my channel a lot. So please, guys, do that. So, yeah. Also, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. We are getting so close to 1,000 subscribers. So, please, guys, hit me, guys. That will really mean a lot to me. So, please, guys, hit that subscribe button down below. So, yeah. I will do another video of this again next week. I will do another video next week talking about, uh, yeah. Next week, guys, I'm going to be doing, yeah. What I was, oh, I can't say words today, guys, okay? Next week, guys. I will do a box office video every Tuesday to see where everything is right now. If No Way Home goes up an extra $200 billion this week and it defeats the Lion King in Jurassic World, then it's the number six spot. And if the next few weeks go by and it defeats 
Now, again, a could have defeat Titanic, but I feel like it's going to defeat Infinity War in Star Wars The First Awakens. But I don't think so. But maybe after, maybe when, maybe if there is a DVD release date, maybe when the DVD comes out, maybe China can already have its feel the release date. So, I predicted, guys, guys, fingers crossed, guys. I have my fingers crossed for Spider-Man No Way Home. I got my fingers crossed. Like this, okay? I got my fingers crossed that No Way Home might defeat the box office with two billion dollars. Guys, guys, fingers crossed, guys. Hoping it could defeat two billion dollars. So, yeah. And I will see you, and I will see you, my guys. So, yeah. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe. Guys, yeah. And don't forget, guys, to hit that notification bell to never miss a box office video. Don't forget. Guys, don't forget guys to hit that subscribe button down below to never miss a box office video every single Tuesday until Spider-Man No Way Home gets a DVD and then No Way Home be on its final weekend. Now, I might do a box office video after No Way Home. Talk about where Scream 5 is, like where Scream 5 is, where Scene 2 is, like whatever. I would do those, but of course, yeah. And I would say, yeah. And also, guys, yeah, and also, so, so, yeah. Don't forget, guys, to subscribe to the channel to join the Ninja Nation Army. And I will see you guys inside the next one. Peace. Oh,